They're packed and ready. But this is not a holiday. These self-titled geeks are heading offshore to compete in Asia's most prestigious computer hacking competition. Under the bright lights and the close watch of major technology companies, they're here to hack any smart device they can. The aim is to find flaws or bugs in the software. Home locks, smart watches, cell phones and routers, everything is a target. We started this competition to clear the common misconception that all hackers are bad. Rather, we have the ability to help you fix your problems. 25-year-old Tai is a computer programmer from China. She successfully hacked a judge's personal account for a share bike in Shanghai, charging him for the ride. It's difficult to measure how hard my task was, but in terms of the impact of the security loophole, it's big. Some live attacks take only a minute or two, but the skill required for this event has taken months of research. Competitors are judged on the creativity and technical difficulty, as well as the impact they can have on the industry. This device can be attacked uh, over internet uh, and attacker gain full access on device. It's dangerous. <laughs> to get to this level of competition is tough. These hackers have already passed two rounds of judging in an international field. There's $700,000 worth of prize money, but a win here can also lead to a lucrative career. Those competitors who successfully crack the cyber codes are pursued by the big software companies. Tencent is one of the biggest tech firms in the world and sponsors the event. There is still a long distance for China to catch up with countries such as the US in terms of tech talent. So Geek PWN aims to help immerse talent in the culture of the security sector. The organisers of Geek Pun say any security flaws uncovered are shared with the companies. And competitors here want to make technology better, not threaten it. Sarah Clark, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.